And at deep dips over a hurdle of height 1 meter. The athlete dips at the distance of 2 meters before the hurdle. 2 meters before the hurdle. And lands 2 meters after the hurdle. Uh, if the angle of the leap is at 45 degrees of the horizontal line, what is the speed? Okay, then we want to find speed. What is the speed at which the athlete dips? So this is uh, your diagram like this. Okay, so to solve this, we can see in x dimension, the valid formula is x equal to u x t. Okay, and then for x, we got the range 4 meter. u x is u cos 45 t. We don't have the information for t. Okay, so we we want to find u, so we don't have t. So we try for y dimension. To find time, usually we use the second formula y u y t plus half uh, y u y t plus half a t square. Okay. Um. Let's say my y is here, this one. So at this one, maximum height, the u or the no, maximum height lah. Huh? We take, so this one lah, 1 meter. Uy is u sine 45 degree time plus half negative 9.81 T square, right? So, uh, I can find T here because I have all the information tapi saya tak ada U. Okay, so, this formula so is not useful. Eh? Not useful. So, we try another formula. Um, let's say Vy square equal to Uy square plus 2 as okay vy square is the maximum the speed at maximum height is 0 uh, uy square is 2 sine 45 square okay plus 2 negative 9.81 s s is 1 meter lah. okay so at 1 meter okay at 1 meter here our vy Uy is equal to zero lah, eh? Uh, so what we are left here, uh, we got all the information except for u. And this question we want to find u. Okay, so I think this is the perfect formula. So u sine forty five square minus. Uh, 9.81 times 2 19.62 eh? 19.62 right so I transfer it here 19.62 equal to sine 45 square so I want to finish off the square so I will square root and I will get 4.429 equal to u sine 45 so my u is 4.429 divided by sine 45 6.26 eh? Okay, near to the answer, that is 6.3. Uh, when we round it off, in your objective question, is 6.3. So, that's the answer. And that's how you do it.